Hello everyone. So last week I put a question whether to publish a double exposure video every week or no. And 90% of you said and 10% of you they were like. So in this week double exposure we're gonna see how to create this really cool image using Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, first if you want to help support this channel, check out Envato Element and also the sponsor of this video. Envato Element is a must-have library for all creators out there. With a vast library of resources available in Envato Element, you can save time and effort and money. With their unlimited downloads of premium design and stock templates, including print templates, graphics, photos, and intros for your video too, and also royalty-free audio tracks, and much more. Check them out today by hitting the link down in the video description. Alright, so let's go ahead and open Photoshop, and then let's open the image that we'll be using, and open it in here. Alright, so the first thing that we are going to do is to cut the model from the background. So we'll go to Select, and I will choose Subject. Alright, as you can see, we have a very good selection. So let's go and open the Select and Mask. So let's go back to Select and choose Select and Mask in here. Alright, so we're not gonna do anything crazy in here. So we're just gonna use the Smooth. So we'll put 6 in the Smooth. And also I'm gonna check this uh, decontaminate colors in here. So we'll remove a little bit of this bluish color that we have from the, the background of the model in here. As you can see, it will improve it a lot. And then in the output, I will change it to new layer because I don't want to keep the layer mask. So I will just press OK and we will put it in a, a layer outside of this. Alright, now we'll go and open a new document, so we'll go to File, and I will choose New. And uh, in the width, I'm gonna put 1920, and in the height, I will put 1080, and I will keep the resolution set to 72 and RGB in the current mode. And of course, if you want to change the width and height, you can do that. And I will press OK. Alright, now we'll go back to the other tab, and I will drag the model. And open it in here and then I'm gonna press ctrl T or command T on my keyboard and I will resize the image so it will fit with the canvas somewhere in the center just like this maybe a little bit bigger all right something like that and I'll press enter all right now let me rename this to model and then I'm gonna create another background using a solid color. So I will go to adjustment and I will choose solid color. And I will use a light gray color for now because we're gonna go back and change this later. And I will press OK. And I can just delete this one. And I can name this PG for background. Alright, let's, so let's go and open the image that we're gonna use as a double exposure, which is this one. So let's go and open it and I will press enter and then I will change the blending mode of it to lighten and as you can see we have uh, some details of the image outside the model so to fix that we're gonna apply the same shape of uh, the model to the image and to do that we're gonna press ctrl or command on our keyboard and I will one click on the model and this will load the selection the shape of the model and then while I'm selecting the this image I can just one click on this layer mask and this will apply the same shape to the image all right now we need to adjust the position of the these trees in here so to do that we need to unlink the layer mask from the layer so I will just one click in between this as you can see there is a link between them I just one click and this will break it and now I can select the layer and then I'm gonna press Ctrl or Command T. I will just make it smaller. Then I will 
choose a better position for the image oh somewhere around here it should work something like that and I will want to click on this check mark all right as you can see now we have this color with this background color which is very different so to fix that we can just change the background color so I'm just gonna double click on this solid color that we just created earlier and then it will open the color picker now if I go outside of the color picker it will let me sample any color that I want for example I can sample this blue if I want but we want this color so we're just gonna one click on it and this will sample the same color of this one for the background and that will be okay all right now I will select the model a layer and then I'm gonna apply a layer mask on it because we want to delete this line that we have in here from the shape and also this part in here so while uh, I'm selecting the layer mask I will go and uh, select a brush a normal round brush and let me put down the opacity to around 70 percent and then using black as my foreground color I can just delete just like that these edges in here all right as you can see and now it's open with the background all right now i'm gonna add uh, some adjustments to the model so I will go and add a black and white from here and then I will clip it to uh, the model by one click on this icon and then I will change the opacity to 60% and again I will go back to adjustments and then I will choose levels and again I will clip it uh, into the model and uh, I will play with the, the midtones a little bit so they will blend with the other image better maybe something like like this looks good maybe somewhere around like this so you know make sure to experiment with this it's depend on what you like I think this looks nice Alright, now it's time for us to add the birds uh, into this image. So I want the birds to come from here and fly like this. So let's go and open the bird image, which is this one. And then I will make them smaller. And I will rotate them by right click and choose flip horizontal. And I will rotate it a little bit around here let me oops let me take it back where it was and let me put down the opacity to 50% so I can see exactly where to place them All right, something somewhere somewhere around here it looks good and I will press enter now we'll uh, bring back the opacity to 100% and then I will change the blending mode of it to multiply but as you can see we still have this edge of the image in here so we're gonna, we're gonna fix that using a level adjustment so let's go and add uh, another level adjustment on top then I will clip it to the bird image in here and uh, I will take this slider and I will put it to the left like this until the edge disappear as you can see all right and that will work let me go back and select the bird image and then I will press ctrl T and I will rotate it a little bit more somewhere around here and I will press enter now I want to make another copy of this bird image in here 
so I want the bears to come from down also so I will make another copy of them but I will make sure that I'm selecting the level adjustment too so select the bird and then press Control or command and one click on the level and this will select them both and then I will take it and bring them to this icon and this will make a new copy and then I will select this bird copy in here and I will press Ctrl T and I will take it down so we have another copy of the birds down in here so I will just use this one and this one we have two coming from down in here all right so I'm gonna press enter and then I'm gonna apply a, a black layer mask on this copy of the bird by pressing alt and one click on this layer mask icon and then using the same brush but this time I will make sure that my foreground color is set to white I can just paint where I want the birds to be visible so for the for example these two that's all I want but I want them to be a little bit fade because it looks like there is a fog in here right so let's make make them a little bit faded so to do that we can just switch back to black as a foreground color and then I will uh, put the, down the opacity to around 20% they can just delete a little bit so it will fade it with the background of the image or somewhere like this I think I will do the same for the other birds in here so I will select the other bird layer and I will fade them a little bit using black as my foreground color that's all of them just a few all right I think it looks good so let me put everything in a, a group so let's select this first one and then by pressing shift on my keyboard I can one click on top and this will select everything and then I'm gonna press ctrl G and this will put them in a group and let's call it birds alright so we're almost done now we're gonna add a little bit of adjustment so go to adjustment and then I will choose solid color and for the color that we'll be using is this yellowish to orange color something like this one in here all right and the is okay now I'm gonna change the blending mode of it to exclusion and then I will uh, bring down the opacity to 12 or 10 percent as you can see all right now I will go back to adjustments and I will choose curves and then I'm gonna make three points in here and I will just adjust this first point a little bit down while I'm looking in the image and this point too Alright, and then I will take this first point that we have in here and I will put it up so we'll add a little bit of fade to the image. And I will do the same for this one, I will put it down just a little bit. Alright, I think this looks nice. Let me put down the opacity to 70%. Alright, so I think I'm gonna add another adjustment which is levels and I will go to the RGB in here and I will choose red and I will play with the red and the shadow of the red and the whites a little bit and then I will go and choose blue and again I will move these sliders a little bit 
just around here. All right. So the last thing that we are going to add is a, a lightning effect to the image, which is optional. If you want to keep it like this, you can, but I like to add a little bit of light to the image. So to do that, we need first to make a, a stamp image or a, a screenshot of what we have on the canvas by pressing Control Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E at the same time on your keyboard. So let's press Control Shift Alt E and as you can see this will make a stamp image or a screenshot of what we have in the image what is visible on the on the canvas actually. And let's rename this to light. And then I will go to filter and I will go to render and I will choose lightning effect. So because I already used this before, uh, it's like this, but probably for you the first time that you are gonna open it, you will find it like this. So just select this green circle in here until it says scale and make it bigger. Just like that. So let me make it bigger a little bit just somewhere around here and then you can change the intensity to whatever you want for this one I'm gonna keep it to 26 then I will make sure that everything is in the middle all right and the is okay all right as you can see uh, we have a very nice lights but I, I am not gonna keep it like this I will uh, apply uh, the shape of the same model that we have in here I will apply it as a layer mask so to do that I'm gonna press control and one click to load the selection of the model and then I will apply a layer mask on this light layer as you can see we have now this as it looks like lights because it's a shape so to fix that we're gonna use the layer mask itself by double click on it I will uh, bring up the feather to 110 to 120 and this will remove these lines that we have before and also I'm gonna put down the density to around 70% and then I will uh, also make the opacity to 60% and that's all so I hope that you enjoy and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day thank you for watching <laughs>